Good morning. Today is a Friday and it's just turned into a really day. I've just found out that Liverpool Comic Village um, did not accept me this time. Uh, May is their busiest con, so naturally you'll get the most applicants and let's face it there are a million better than me. I'm not saying that I'm bad but I get it. I'm just really gutted. I'm really good because I've been working so hard towards my next comic village and like I've just been dead excited I'm just getting ready to go to Liverpool Comic Con I'm just announced that I'm I'm guesting at Witness and I'm off to go film be the Power Rangers uh, like vlogger and I you know just when I feel like oh you know I'm actually going somewhere something stops you but I'm not I'm sad now I'm sad and I'm disappointed but it's not the end of the world and it's not gonna stop me applying for future MCMs I'm just ah oh, I'm just disappointed but I'll be okay I'll be okay I have got I need to be at Liverpool for two I need to sorry I need to be at Liverpool Comic Con for two because that's when I'm filming the Power Rangers go on stage and do all their press stuff nothing like power walking to a con so you're all sweaty and wet beforehand <laughs> This is for your vlog. No, I'm the real star. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's not in focus at all. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so he's on standby for 330. He might not even make it today. And he's pissed at Aaron. Aaron's like, why can't you Like, I can't like, that's Aaron. should be this way. Not assume that he's with everybody. I'm always here. Whenever I travel, I'm always tripping my thing over and over. I'm so paranoid as it is. I want to skip my seat. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. as well as the Blue Zeal Ranger, which is that outfit that that guy's wearing right there, so good job. Uh, anyway, go ahead. My name is Blake Foster. I play Justin Stewart, the Blue Turbo Power Ranger. Andrew's made a friend. Oh. <laughs> you okay there, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> Are you having like the best day watching a pigeon? Yeah, he's great. <laughs> <laughs> Bummed into two strays. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> Wave the hand. This is a very pimping look right now, I'm not gonna lie. Like you're in these big chairs and just sitting there like a pimp. With a with a brandy. With a brandy. Where we need an open fireplace. Where are the homes? Be careful how you answer your own question. I won't answer. I'm playing. Well, the thing is, I'm I'm like I'm a little friend. I'm like, what? Am I not pretty enough to be a hoe? I could be a hoe. You're, you're, you're but then, if you call me a hoe, I would murder you. Yeah. So. <laughs> you're a bro. Ah, the fun of dealing with a woman. <laughs> So I'm back from the con today and honestly I just I feel so out of it and I feel ugh. conventions bring out a really bad introverted side of me and I do not get energized from a convention. I drain like a phone on full brightness and I, I just I, I think because I had a really bad sleeping pattern yesterday because I was up until like 7 
editing the video and then I know I didn't sleep for ages so god knows what time I actually fell asleep but it was bright it was bright outside so I'm not going out tonight the weather's awful I think I'm going to just have an early night tonight and hopefully give me the energy to actually work properly tomorrow and then so what I'm going to do I've already had my dinner which I ruined <laughs> I'm having a bad day but I'm going to stay indoors and tidy my <laughs> Very messy room. How is it this messy? Messy. 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 Oi. Oh my gosh, what an actually terrifying sight. <laughs> right, so I am watching Afterlife by Ricky Gervais and this whole show has just depressed me. It's just depressed me to no end. And I hate how much I relate to it. <laughs> and he goes to talk to his dad who has Alzheimer's. Bear in mind, I've just been crying throughout the whole show anyway. <laughs> and then his dad looks at him and goes, you're my boy? And my nan used to do that when she recognized my dad. She'd go, you my Peter? <laughs> and it just sent me over the edge. <laughs> so I think I've mentioned it today, but I haven't discussed it. I got rejected, wow, by MCM Comic Village. I, I, I dealt with today very well and I enjoyed today, but my heart wasn't in today at all. I was in the con for about half an hour. I did what I had to do and that was it. And then I just came home and when it's cons, all I want to do is see my friends usually. And I just came home, ate food, watched TV, cried a lot to tv but i think the reality is that i'm just i'm not okay i'm really sad i'm disappointed i understand the decision i'm not a comic writer i'm not a comic artist i'm just a writer and in may it's busier so more comic people applied i, I get that it's, i don't i weirdly don't take it as a personal thing like you're not good enough because i've been a comic village I built so much up thinking I would go again and I built so much up like I bought loads of copies of Take My Life thinking like oh, it's okay but I'll sell them at MCM and yeah I can I can push it online but I can only push it online to so many people watching it's not gonna stop me applying again it's just it's kind of annoying because MCM's so busy you have to book hotels and like I'm gonna have to let a really good friend down now saying like I can't go because financially there is I can't afford to just go and spend money unless I was a advertising myself or be making money even if the, I mean to be honest I never even break even at MCM but the fact that I was earning some money and getting my name out there was worth it I've just been really struggling with my anxiety the last couple of days I've just been a bit of a mess I've never usually been this level of anxiety as well like I'm constantly doubting my decision like even like even now I'm like should I go to the con tomorrow no I have to go to the con tomorrow do I really have to go to the con tomorrow should I go to the con tomorrow and like that is my brain non-stop and I'm not usually like that kind of anxiety I've done a very girly self-care thing which isn't really self-care but okay <laughs> I am um, I've opened up a good bottle of wine gotta stop doing that <laughs> and I've just had a shower which I do feel better for and I'm gonna put a face mask on because my skin is the possibly the worst I think it's ever been like I mean ever what the heck it almost looks like maybe I'm having a reaction to my makeup or something it's well they're saying that that started before I even start putting makeup on I'm gonna put a film on that I've been wanting to watch for a while I was gonna watch a rom-com and Netflix and Amazon Prime have like no rom-coms what the heck? Rom-coms are my go-to feel-good and they have none. If there was a stream, you know like how you can get a horror streaming service? If there was a rom-com streaming service, I think I'd only subscribe to that. I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to do while I'm doing that. I might draw. I might go through some paperwork of stuff I need to go through and sort out. I might write some letters. I think I've replied to all the Xmas Tour Athena ones now. I'm just really sad and I feel a bit lost now. But I'm also okay. Like, I can tell the difference. I'm sad. I'm not depressed right now. Like, it's just kind of crushing news. And everyone has that. So, I've got to deal with it. Blech.